Okay, so we just run through quickly. Uh, obviously, the knee flex, spine angle, athleticism, all looking much better and way better release of the right side, pushing off the right leg. Okay, takeaway looks really good. A lot of good stuff going on here, hey? Very, very good. Maybe a little, slight little dip there. Okay, that is kind of what we're going to be working on. So it's a little dip in the head there, so it could be a little bit neater. But just watch this right hip start to move out. Let's rewind that just a little bit. Okay, watch this right hip move out. Just there. Okay, so just moving a little bit. Oh. Just moving a little bit laterally. Okay, and there's also just a slight change in that angle. Okay, so again, we just want to neaten that up a little bit. Okay, just watch it again in motion. All good there. A little dip and then the right tip tends to go a little out and up still. Okay. But we are maintaining our angles better. We are maintaining our knee flex better so that the right leg is not locking out, anything like that. This spine angle looks nice and decent. It's under control. Okay, club position looks great. Absolutely fantastic. Change of direction, brilliant. So then the second thing we're going to work on is just to try and have sort of try to be a little more on top of the ball at impact with a little more lag in the shaft. So a little bit of a later hit. Okay, that's what we're going to basically be working on just to try and push to the next level. And then obviously I need to check on that driver, please. So if you can send me a driver video. Okay. Well done, dude. Keep it up. Hello, my superstar. How are you doing? What a lovely surprise. Uh, I mean, no messing or anything, but what a lovely surprise to get a video at least. Can't believe you deserted me and went to Singapore. Um, <laughs> no, I'm joking. I hope it's awesome. I hope you're having a good time and you settled in. Um, and thanks for the uh, video. So a lot of good looking stuff there. Okay, certainly in terms of what we worked on, on keeping the angles, keeping the flexion, okay, controlling that amount of tilt in the spine. Okay, and then obviously, releasing, fully releasing that body, all looking really, really good. Okay, so a couple of little things I've got uh, that I want to work on. Um, a little bit, one technical, deliberate, just got just to bleed it out. The other one more long-term, more feel-based. Okay, but I want you to do the drills anyway. And then we kind of need to have a chat. Okay, so we just need to have a chat where your game's at. Um, is the driver starting to go straighter yet, or is it still fading? How the short irons, all that type of stuff. How's the short game? How you physically, how you mentally, all these little things. Okay, so we probably need to have a chat at some point. Okay, but for now, a couple of drills. Okay, so the first one is ball forward drill. Okay, so what we do is basically. Okay, either put a ball there or pretend. Okay, I'm just going to put it this side. Okay, pretend the ball's there. Okay, normal ball position. This is seven iron, so just forward of center. Okay, we're not actually going to hit that ball, we're actually going to hit that ball. Okay, so then draw the club in. Okay, full setup, start from here. Okay, and we've got to learn how to go forward and try and strike that ball that's that's too forward. It is too forward, but it's a drill. Okay, we need to learn how to strike it correctly. So, normal setup there. Okay, and then put that ball on your left foot, maybe even just on the outside of the left foot. Okay, with all of your irons. Alright, and learn to start here strike that ball correctly. Okay, from this side, that outside ball is giving me perspective of what my normal ball position would be. That's the actual ball I'm going to hit, so I'm going to set up in relation to this one, okay, but obviously to hit that one. Okay, and you've got to learn how to, kind of, you've got to go at it a little bit, okay, but you can hit it nicely, right? What are we trying to do then? Okay, so basically, Everything looking a lot better, especially in the first half of the swing, maintaining these angles nicely. Okay, we've just got a little bit of extension of the hip. Now, it's not because it's straightening and it's not creating any tilt, so there's a lot of progress there, but it's still moving out a little bit. Okay, which means from there we can't get back over the golf ball, so we're a little bit 
So we're a little bit upright and behind with not quite enough lag as we deliver that club. So we want to be somewhere there. Okay, way more lag, way more on top of the golf ball when we hit it, as in my upper body on top of the golf ball. We don't want to be here too centered with not enough lag. Okay, we just got to work on that a little bit, right? And then in between that second drill, okay, I just want to see if we can just create a little more snap, slightly later release, just use that sharpness a little bit better. Okay, so it's more of a long term thing. You can actually use this, if it feels good, you can use this through your sort of pitching, wedges, everything, just to create a little bit of, a little bit of snap and athleticism to that release. Okay, so basically what we're going to do, okay, normal setup, normal swings, everything. Okay, we're going to start the club about two foot in front of the golf ball. Okay, somewhere there. All right, so start the club there, work back, and then learn to strike it from there. Okay, start from here, work back, learn to strike it from there. Learn to just use that right hand a little bit more athletically, a little bit more dynamically, and obviously ultimate goal to release that club a little bit later. Okay, those are your two draws. Obviously, between that, do normal swings, normal target practice. Okay, um, and then let's have a chat in the upcoming days. All right, thank you.